Hey everyone, my name is Ryan. I'm going to show you how to properly oil your bolt carrier group. So a couple tools you might need to start off with. I like to have some needle nose pliers and then a small screwdriver or a small punch, anything that's kind of small that can help you with the retaining pin. You're going to need some oil and some cleaner. This one's a CLP, so it's all in one and then a rag. So let's get started. First, you're going to want to take out your retaining pin. Once that's out, your firing pin should fall out as well. And then from here, you're gonna to wanna to take out the cam pin. I like to use the needle nose for the cam pin because it's awkward to get your fingers in there. Just spin it and then pull it out. And then your bolt head will come out as well. From the factory on a brand new one, you're gonna have some packing grease or storage grease uh, either use your cleaner or just your rag and make sure that that's off of there because that stuff is is sticky and it's not a good oil So once you're pretty dry the parts you're going to want to oil on your bolt head are this ridge here And your gas rings and then a little bit on the front here as well So just a drop on the ridge drop on the gas rings and then just spread it around with your fingers Spread it around on the gas rings and then the residual from the fingers you, you can use to hit the front part of that as well. All right, so now your bolt head is done. Put a drop on your cam pin, spread that around. Cam pin's done. And then the carrier itself, again, you're gonna wanna wipe all that factory stuff off. And then the parts you're gonna wanna oil on your carrier are this ridge here, this ridge, this ridge, this ridge, and then down on the very bottom. So we'll get a drop here, drop here. That's what might need to here. and down on the bottom. Now, one thing you wanna make sure you do, uh, don't do is you don't wanna over oil your bolt carrier group. So if it's soaking wet, that's too much oil. So I always like to go over it just kind of lightly with a rag afterwards, just so there's a nice thin film of oil. You can oil the rest, it's not really necessary. The rest of your bolt carrier is not really making contact with uh, the buffer tube or anything like that, so. Anyway, it's back. Uh, we're ready to reassemble now. So your bolt head, you want to make sure your extractor is off to the right side of the bolt carrier group. Line up your cam pin hole, then your cam pin drops in. And again, needle nose is nice here. Just spin that. And then on your firing pin, if you've still got some oil on your fingers, you can put a little oil on that as well. And that should drop right in. And then your retaining pin will jump in after that. Make sure your firing pin is seated all the way. If you're having trouble getting your retainer pin in, you can put some downward pressure and push it in and that'll help. Other than that, you're ready to go.